Here is a 2023 Mercedes AMG C43 Coupe in citrus silver metallic over Canberra red leather interior. The Coupe in the convertible for 23 does not get a full refresh, but is this the best variant to go if you're considering a new C43 or should you go to the more powerful engine? I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides and is 17 horsepower gonna make or break you because this has 15 pound-feet of torque more, starting with the carryover fascia. It will keep that sporty style because when you get into the AMG, that's what they do. They change the lower bumpers and make it look more aggressive. Underneath the hood, it's not gonna be that 2.0 inline four cylinder. This is a V6 twin turbo AMG enhanced with 385 horsepower, 384 pound feet of torque paired to the nine speed shift automatic transmission, achieving 18 MPGs to the city and 27 MPGs for the highway. Reaching 60 is actually questionable. This could be a little bit faster than that 2.0 inline four cylinder. 19 inch AMG twin five spoke wheels with black accents, summer high performance tires with AMG ride control for the sports suspension, AMG dynamic select. And all of this makes it a smooth drive when you need it to be for the daily and a performance variant when you want to put it into sport plus going back to the question is this better than the refresh well we're not going to receive that probably till the end of the year or midway to next year depending on the way the sales are for the coupe and the convertible my look to it is the front is not going to be as dynamic as the refresh but the rear led tail lights trunk lip spoiler and it's very aggressive for the rear exit with the quad exhaust outlets Power lift gate going into 10.5 cubic feet of storage. You get some hangers here underneath the floor. You get more storage with the storage container that folds out and a storage cubby here on the side. Split fold the rear bench in the back at a 40-60 split and that will increase the cargo to the coupe. This is a bi-turbo. We need to go inside, start it up so you can hear that exhaust note. leather interior power seat adjustments heated front seats memory for the front occupants headroom is at 38.8 inches legroom at 42 inches this is the older design you'll have a lot of leg space and it's wide even though the center cluster expands outward the coupe and the convertible do not get the redesign for the c43 amg so it's a non-touch screen with navigation apple carplay android auto sirius xm Put it into reverse, we have trajectory and you can change the camera layouts. I'm not a big fan of it because it's only on the passenger side. Natural wood inlays with a wireless charger, 12 volts, and the key fob for the AMG C43 Coupe. The rotary knob for the infotainment screen, you can make the exhaust a little bit louder and you get the wood trim with the gloss black that's gonna surround it. It's gonna be more sporty, open up inside. It's a pretty deep storage pocket with two more USB ports, a leather wrap steering wheel with the perforated on the sides. You get the 12 o'clock flat bottom AMG with the touch sensitive pads on the top. Paddle shifters, 12.3 digital gauge cluster that can go through an array of information for the driver. Because this is the older design, you'll still get the satin aluminum that's gonna run through the center part of the dashboard, making a two tier. The door panels do configure into the dash and you get the aluminum inlays with the Burmaster sound system, one touch up and down for the windows. And it's soft to touch pretty much everywhere where it needs to be with a small storage pocket and a moonroof and an edgeless auto dimming rear view mirror. Going into the back seat, it's gonna be tight for me. I'm six foot three, but we're gonna try it anyway. Electronically moving forward. It's gonna go inside here like this. 
Surprisingly, you get over 35 inches of headroom, and for a coupe, that's actually really good. But 32 inches of legroom, which would basically be, I'm gonna just show you. A feet space isn't too bad, just if I was sitting in the driver's seat, it's going to be hard for both of us to sit. You do have a little area here that you can rest your arms. The windows are very sleek and pushed back with cup holders in the center, air vents. 17 horsepower more for the new inline four-cylinder 2.0 turbo. 15 pound-feet of torque less than this. This is a twin-turbo V6 carryover 3.0 liter with 385 horsepower, 384 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 is actually 0.1 second quicker in this, like the new C43 sedan. I think it's a great vehicle. I like the engine option. Just as a daily use with these upgraded wheels, it's a smooth drive. Visibility is good, and it doesn't feel so wide in the lane. I like the athletic feel that comes out of it. That's gonna take me to some pros and cons, and starting off with is the pros. You get more torque out of this. This is actually faster. It's gonna be a little bit less in the horsepower, but I still like a twin turbo V6. Some cons about the vehicle is it's a carryover. I'm not a big fan of this and a lot of the automotive industry is doing it. And it's not something that's nice in the sense of if you're wanting a coupe or a convertible, you just have to wait. We're gonna show you a little bit of performance right now. She is quick. You get the exhaust that filters in. It's quiet, the seats are wide. I like that we have cushion extensions too because I'm tall. Some more cons, the reverse camera is only two thirds of the screen. The brakes are not going to be as tight as the new gen. It's a little heavy. I do like how the weight is distributed in this a little bit better because the four cylinder is also a little bit lighter. So it does feel a little bit more agile with that one. This one's a little bit more composed and we're going to just pull right here. So that way you can see that performance now out of this twin turbo V6. Here we go. You get the spit that filters in. It's a quick vehicle. Is this better than the Refresh C43 sedan? Performance wise, this is gonna be faster. You're gonna be glued to your seat a little bit more. As for a 50-50 weight distribution, they're quite close to the same. Cargo capacity is better in the sedan, obviously. Also, having backseat occupants would be more so for the sedan. Everyday cruising drive, I think the sedan is a little bit more comfortable. This one's going to feel a little bit more of the imperfections in the road. You can still option a smaller wheel, so that would kind of take care of that. The seats are a little bit more comfortable in this than the refresh. The touchscreen infotainment is definitely a lot better in the refresh because it cleans up this whole center cluster. Personally, I would do the sedan over the coupe unless I'm looking for a weekend car because I have a family. But if you don't have a family and you're not really concerned about people in the back seat, this is the way to go. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank Mercedes-Benz of Clearwater for giving us this 2023 Mercedes-AMG C43 Coupe for our car review.